The 27-year-old pharmacist from London is the latest contestant to get the boot in Lord Sugar's hair-raising boardroom. For the first time in the series, week 3 of The Apprentice saw both competing groups mixed together, no longer battling it out as men versus women. The business-hungry candidates were set the task of creating a new non-alcoholic drink. Project leader, Sophie Wilding slammed the pharmacist for his lack of contribution to the overall task and called for the candidate, along with Akshay Thakrar, to join her in the boardroom. Speaking to Express and other media, Navid has hit out at Sophie and added, I don't take S from anyone. In the show's final few moments before the firing, Akshay, Sophie and Navid argued their cases to Lord Sugar while his trusty aides Tim Campbell and Baroness Karen Brady witnessed their desperate plea. The 32-year-old cocktail bar owner held no punches, they both ride on other people's ideas and success. Since exiting the show, Navid has stated, I feel like Sophie threw me under the bus because I feel like she should have been the one, who was, fired. Judy Dench refuses to answer probe over her appearance I had made the most amount of sales compared to Steph, Amy and Sophie combined together. It's just weird and everything in business has to do with the sale, he added, if you make more sales, that should speak more for itself. Earlier on in the show, viewers saw how Sophie made the decision to remove Navid from their pitch which had been organized to help promote their peach-infused drink crafted and spiced to major retailers. While the Cheltenham-based businesswoman claimed Navid made zero contribution the medical wee skid accused his co-star of making him an easy target. Navid said, in the boardroom, she used that as a target to say, you didn't contribute much, and I knew she was going to do that. You know what, at the end of the day, I did stay true to myself. I did fight for it and I don't take S from anyone, period. Although his journey on The Apprentice has come to an end, Navid has openly discussed his future plans, hoping to make it onto reality TV. The star, who had also appeared on Channel 5's reality show Rich Kids Go Skint, claimed he's up for a challenge. Navid revealed, you know what, I would definitely love to do something like MasterChef but I'm interested to see what the judges would think of me if I cooked something exotic. In jest, the former candidate added, I just hope I don't end up making them sick. After some consideration, Navid, who told Express and other media, he had Versace bed covers, also claimed he would do I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. If the opportunity arose. I do have phobias when it comes to sleeping in small beds, along with, insects and spiders, so I definitely do am a celeb get me out of here. Trust me, especially if I see spiders. It'd go crazy. The star spoke candidly about his quest for love after he revealed, I'm still single, I've never experienced love, and, I'm still a virgin so it's like Teresa Law to me that people don't know. In a shock announcement, Shama Amin sadly had to step down from the competition due to ill health. Addressing Lord Sugar, Shama explained, I suffer from a condition called rheumatoid arthritis. Due to medical reasons and the process being so physically demanding, despite all the efforts the whole team has made, I've had to make the difficult decision to leave the process. She added, I'd like to thank you, Lord Sugar and team, for the opportunity. Close friend Navid was saddened by the news and gushed, My darling Shama is such a lovely lady, lovely woman. I've got lots of respect for her and I hope she gets well really soon. The Apprentice continues next Thursday at 9pm on BBC One.